Hello everybody, Mike Tannock here. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Hearts of Iron 4 The Great War, as we are playing as the Ottoman Empire. Uh, and when we last left, we were kind of firming up our position here. Um, so we're going to dive right back in uh, without me blabbing on too much this time. Now we are facing naval invasions all over the place. Uh, unfortunately... Austria-Hungary sent us an army of 21 divisions, and they almost immediately called them back, right when I got them into position. Which is unfortunate, but it, it's their divisions, guys. I, I can't tell them what to do with their divisions, so... Whatever. That's fine. Uh, we were going to use them to push north through Tunis, but it looks like that's going to... We'll see how far we get. It's probably not going to go very, very well. Uh, we're going to keep pushing. Come on, guys. Push them back. Don't let them get started. Uh, entrenching, please. Yes. Okay, guys. We sorely needed this. We needed this years ago. The extra research slot. Um, what? Can we go forward even more with this? Okay. That has to be after 1st of January, 1917. Fine. We can wait. Uh, now, what I believe uh, a viewer and guy who's been definitely helping out with uh, this campaign, uh, Faris, reminded me that we can annex uh, Jabal Shamar. We can annex... Uh, they, we don't get a lot out of this guy right here, except for maybe a little bit of manpower because they don't really have resources, but it would make me happier because that's more territory we own. And it's just, for my own satisfaction, I want to do that. So we are going to pursue that focus, uh, which begins with uh, befriend the house of Rashid, which will improve our relations with them. Excellent. Now, extra research slot. Sorely needed. Uh, where we need it most, I noticed last time there were a few infantry things that we could do. That we are kind of falling behind on because it's halfway through 1916 and we haven't got the infantry improvements. Um, so that's good. This invasion right here, I cannot wait. I think, guys, we are going to be able to pull it off. Uh, as soon as the, uh, the time limit's up, we have to wait 21 days to plan it. And that's not too bad. Or 28 days, I should say. I don't know what I just said. I never know what I just said. Alright, how are we doing here? And is everybody helping? As soon as we break through... We're going to keep on pushing so that nobody gets the chance to entrench. How is our heavy artillery doing in this fight? Are they in the fight? They are not in the fight. And why are they not in the fight? This is our western front. Oh, that's ridiculous that they are not in that fight. Everybody should be attacking here. And then pushing on towards Luxembourg. That is a very weak point in their line, as a matter of fact. Only eight divisions guarding it, where elsewhere they have, like, dozens. Well, I guess not. Here's their main defense point. So, the odds look good, assuming our units get into the fight. They need to call the heavy artillery, and that is what is going to be tip the scales in our favor. And how are we looking here? Good. This is kind of what I hoped would happen. We would conquer this territory and let the Austro-Hungarians take the attrition holding it. That's fine by me. That is absolutely fine by me. How are we doing on our push towards Germany? We need to push further, Guy, I see a lot of standing around. I see a whole lot of standing around. Okay, and you are doing well there. So continue on that direction. We have divisions ready. Putting you into the training army. All right. We have two infantry divisions, which I'm going to assign to the Egyptian task force. Um, because our line is getting pretty thin here. And if we're going to break through to the Germans, we're going to need more than what we are what we got. So two divisions there. And because of supply issues, they're not going to go on their own. So I'm going to force them, kicking and screaming like I always have to do. All right, so we got actually two port defense units. One of them is ready, and he's guarding Izmir, so I'm going to put him into the... Where is my coastal defense force? There we go. 
No, what what are you doing? Does the Coastal Defense Force have orders? Oh yeah, that's right. That's my uh feint of a naval invasion. We're not actually going to invade them navally. No, just stop. Just whatever you're doing, stop. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, this attack looks good now. We are in the green, and looks like some of our divisions have committed. Not the ones we wanted. What about our heavy artillery? No. And why is the heavy artillery not committed to this fight? Well, I just don't see them. Which is okay. They're there. I know they're there. Oh, boy. And looks like we are winning here. Not surprisingly. Uh, get the other divisions going, please. My god, you guys are lazy. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. As a matter of fact, you support that attack, too. We need to capture Tunis again. It's so sad, you know, like we knocked them out of the war before and now they're back. The ghost of Tunis rises. Whatever. Okay, yeah, you do need to come back to your line. Thank you. As a matter of fact, let's get you on the rails. And why are we not pushing here? I, I don't understand. I know that's forest, but... Okay, we'll get you to support that attack. And also you to support that attack. Let's push them out. That's going to be kind of a tough fight. Not good for armored cars. Because it is forest or jungle, I should say. Yeah, okay. We're getting all our angles covered here, right? Yep, support that attack. Let's keep going, guys. You, you're, you're getting lazy on me. You're getting absolutely lazy. No, actually, go there. I want to hold them up in the mountains as best we can. I mean, look at this. It looks like we caught them on the rail on their way elsewhere. Who do these guys belong to? Uh, is that British Rajasthan or Canada? Canadians in the jungle. Imagine that. They're not going to do well. They're not going to like it. I think. I don't know. Maybe Canadians would do well in the jungle. It just doesn't seem like they're... Shit! Okay. Well, there it goes. There goes our hopes of conquering Tunis. Excellent. Advanced hand tools. That is going to up our production cap. Or efficiency cap, I should say. Next, sterilization. That will take our supply consumption down by 1%. Not much, but enough. Okay, has it been 28 days? Uh, you know what? Let's, since we did actually work for this, let us n not abandon this attack. Let's keep pushing. I want to take Tunis. Let me make sure I'm not missing any more naval invasions. Because I'm getting the icon here and they're gonna try for Greece that's a given um, but all their ports are covered so whatever attack they do is gonna be pretty bad all right 16 of 28 days we're almost there another 12 days guys and we are taking Qatar which is great because that means we can focus on taking Cyprus and finally get the British out of the Mediterranean except for here I forgot they do have this naval base in Malta that's gonna be a f oh god that's gonna be a headache all right yeah it looks like we took it and we did we said it and we did it so keep moving yeah it looks like this attack is stalling which is fine because we can cut those guys off yes we can and yes we will as a matter of fact let's get the cavalry i'm gonna sign you and get you moving up here no Right there, actually. And then you will attack the artillery units. Because what is this? It's mostly artillery. I believe it's like three artillery and two infantry. Whatever it is, it's it's a very weak unit. All right. You see, now we're getting really stretched then. Uh, we got to decide on a clear direction here. Link up with the Germans. That is what I want. We are going to push this way. And that will divide allied territory in two in Africa. So let's do that. And continue to push on to there. Because they don't they do not have the divisions to cover all this as it is, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, now you come down here. 
There's this major river here I would like to avoid fighting on, but we may not have a choice. So let's do something like that. You guys keep pushing. That's going to be the weak point in the line right there. So this attack... Yeah, I'm not happy with that attack. I'm not really happy with much of anything that's going on here. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. So, then you turn, go south. Uh, you will come here. Yeah, all of you will turn and come south. Uh, actually, you two will continue on to that attack. I'm trying to do everything I can think of to keep them off balance. You guys are leaving, and you shouldn't be. Okay. We can actually attack them from three directions right here. So, you who thinks you're leaving... There. You know, surprise, you're actually attacking. There. Now we're attacking on three fronts. And they still have more width than us. Not good. So, let's go ahead and widen that up a bit. And good, we're continuing the push. Continuing the push. Gotta link up with the Germans. That is the goal. Meet them right here. That way we can divide the enemy and conquer them. Classic approach. Let's see. How are we doing here? I'm really excited for this naval invasion, guys. I hope that it works. Um, yeah, I wish more that we had Marines for it, but alas, we do not. We have Marines training. Maybe we can use them in Cyprus. Okay. Oh, look. Look, they decided to come here again. Alright, good. Let's get this army. Our homeland defense army. Unassign them from that. Get them here. Let's have a little bit of fun with these guys. And offensive line. Right there. So, all you guys go by rail, please. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Offensive line right there. And who is this? Portugal? Yeah, Portuguese Republic. Man, they just... They just can't wait to die. Don't make me come over there. I am going to come to North Africa. I'm going to get this port, and then I we are going to invade and take Lisbon from them. And they will not like any of that. They're going to get a Ottoman boot where they really don't want one. No, what is that? What is that? What is that attack? Don't. Whatever you're doing, just don't. If you're going to do something, support this attack here. Let's see if we can't get those guys dislodged from that uh, airfield. I would love to have that airfield. Luxembourg has capitulated. Oh, you know what that means, guys? Our attack worked. Yes, we took Luxembourg. Check us out, guys. Check us out. We did it. The might of the Ottoman Empire broke through where Germany and Austria-Hungary could not. What do you think of them cookies? You guys are just jealous now, so let's shorten up this front. Because we are going to continue on here. And they're going to try to take it, but we are going to keep pushing. As a matter of fact, why are we not pushing? we got nothing but wide open spaces, guys. We are going to make Belgium capitulate as well. So let's get... Yeah, the heavy artillery can go down there. Uh, you... Well, just wait for that attack to fail. Is there anyone not doing anything? You. Ah, jeez. Okay. Where are you? You're defending. Now you're attacking. Let's take Metz. And send you down there as well. And we will continue on. One of our artilleries and one of our infantry will continue on. We are going to go for an encircling movement. To chew up and spit out the western front. Damn, we're good. Thank you for whoever it was that, that gave this idea. The credit is actually yours. Um, the idea to uh, send our heavy artillery units to the west front. That was a stroke of genius. And why are we not just rushing towards Brussels. That's what we need to do, because they're not covering it. So we're going to knock Brussels out of the war, and then look, guys, we got a clear shot to Paris, which 
We're not going to do this. What am I thinking? No. No. Everybody, we're going to push towards Paris. And we're going to keep on a going. As a matter of fact, Paris is more important. So let's get you there. Infantry division. Paris. Make it happen. As a matter of fact, we'll keep one heavy artillery here to keep them busy. And you know what? We'll support this attack with the other heavy artillery. Or will we? Now, let's just get France... Let's get Paris. Huge moment, guys. Huge moment. And we got nothing but daylight. I do need to pay attention to other parts of the front, though. I don't want to get overexcited here. I Like, I do. <laughs> Shockingly, I know. You guys have never seen me overexcited. What is he talking about? Okay, stop that attack, actually. And support this one. Weakness. I smell weakness in some of our units, and I don't like it. Uh, you know what? Oh, wow, you kicked those guys out. Is everyone doing something? No. No, you're not doing anything, as a matter of fact. What is your major malfunction, my friend? You're not going to win that attack, obviously. Let's get you to support... You to rest. Okay, looks like everyone else is doing good. They're doing what I want them to do. Naval invasion. Where are we, guys? We are ready. Yes! Oh, so much good happening in this episode. So, planes. Let's get you here to the Persian Gulf. And do your superiority missions. Instead of close air support, we'll do naval strike. We'll do that. We'll get our planes flying. More ground crews. Get our navy. Both of these guys. Let's start with... Uh, are you assigned to any regions? Yeah, you're already assigned to uh, Eastern Mediterranean. Let's get rid of that. You are going to patrol the Persian Gulf. And you are going to patrol the Persian Gulf. And we are going to take Qatar. Let's get rid of his other patrol area. Where was that? Uh, wow, where was that? Oh, the African coast. Yeah, that wasn't working out. We'll do that. Let us get some superiority. Or try. Launch whenever you can. And when, if it launches, we can get... Uh, Oh, there's one French division guarding. How are we looking, guys? Naval supremacy, 44%. Not great. Man, I really wish our battleship was done. Or any ship, really, to up our supremacy. But we'll wait. We'll see. There's a chance we might get just a, a quick window where um, we can attack. And we will. I got the British draw their... Uh, fleet off elsewhere okay Brussels is ours let's take Antwerp let's take all this delicious territory why are you not pushing to Paris what's your excuse bruh let's go yeah they're not gonna stop us as a matter of fact let's uh, do a spoiler attack right here we'll stop them they're rushing to get uh, units to their capital, so we gotta we gotta cut them off. All right, yeah, these guys gotta be about to capitulate. Let's see. Uh, Belgium. Let's go by name. Belgium. Yeah, they're dead. Why have they not capitulated? That's it for them. Any second now, they will capitulate. I know it. Yep, there we go. That means, hopefully that means their divisions are the hell out of our way now. Yes, they are. Come on, Paris. Come on, Paris. Let us go. Keep pushing. Alright, and we have stalled their reinforcements here. Alright, let's go this way. Let's take Dunkirk. And Calais. Come on, I'm counting on you. I know you can do it. Don't get cut off, please. And look at this. This front is now busted wide open. We got Germans pouring 
end to exploit this. Even though they're just standing there staring at open ground in front of them, I'll pretend that they know what they're doing. Like I usually do. Idiots. Okay. When are we going to get this? Or are we going to get this? I wish... Can we do any convoy raiding here? Would that help? No, it would not. So, let's keep them doing that. We might... Might get a window where we can go in and take Qatar. It sucks that they reinforced it. I was really hoping they wouldn't, but they did, of course. Alright, that's done. Come on, Paris. Do we got Paris? Imagine that. The Ottomans take Paris. It's ours. It's ours, and they can do nothing to stop it. Except take it back, of course. So Paris has fallen. What does that do to France? Why am I not see Okay, yeah, they're not close to capitulating, but man, what a great symbolic victory. Yeah, they're trying to rush divisions there. It's not going to work. We are going to take them. You know what? You get him the hell out of there. Let's widen this up a bit. I'm afraid of getting uh, cut off. Alright, now you come up here. Yeah, we're going to take Dunkirk and Calais. We're going to take their second capital. I had a feeling that it might be in the north of France somewhere, so I'm glad I sent that dude up there. Mexico declared war on itself. Excellent. Good job, guys. All right. Are we pushing? And if not, why not? Let's get this bulge dealt with, please. Uh, let's see. You get in on this attack as well. And you get in on that attack so we can kind of close up this bulge. Uh, do we have any openings here? No, we do not. So, let's stop that. Oh, this guy's going to try to cut us off. That's what he's doing. Alright, much better. Oh boy. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get that uh, port taken. God, I was so excited too. What does the Eastern Mediterranean look like? Yeah, they have some serious firepower. Alright, let's go ahead and dock these guys for now. Maybe after docking them, we can uh, try again at a different time. Hmm. That's too bad. Are we going to... Yeah, we took Calais as well. We took the second French capital. What does that do to him? Not much, but... I mean, we are gobbling up French territory. So, they, I mean, their days are numbered. Let's get you attacking there. Let's uh, go for this port and encircle whatever divisions we can there. Yeah, now they're just a pouring through. And we got to shrink up our front line a bit. Let's go ahead and take Mets. We'll get in on that attack. But after that, let's... Uh, we only have five divisions. Or six. So let's keep them kind of somewhat together here. Yeah, they're trying. Trying, trying to uh, keep us from cutting off whatever's up there. But it's not going to work. <gasps> Ooh. Russia wants to send two volunteers. We will gladly accept. Thank you. All right. Let's attack here. And as a matter of fact, let's get our air power. Is our air power helping? I don't know that it is. Uh, did we fool them? No, we did not fool them. Damn. Damn, damn. All right. Let's move our ships somewhere less conspicuous, so they don't see that we have ships here. And let's move our air power somewhere else. We will try to sneak it by him, guys. We will do our best, but I don't know. I just don't know if that's going to work. 
And we'll do North Africa. Yes, just what you're doing before. Oh my god, I'm so excited we broke through in Western Europe. This means that their days are numbered. There's only so much they can do. No, let's go. Let's go. Let's get them cut off. Okay, we have another division trained. How is our production? Let's let's look here. It's getting bad. It's getting worse. <laughs> oh man. You know what? We're gonna take down an airplane. Let's do one in infantry equipment too. And take another one out of siege artillery. And we'll put that into support equipment. Damn guys. I hate doing that. I really do, but I mean our our hands are tied. Okay, so their new capital is abreast. Um Fine. We can do that. These guys are in multiple combats. These guys are cut off. So let's get in on that attack. On the killing here. Yeah, France's days are a numbered. Big time. We're just going to go along the northern coast. Take all their stuff. All of it. All right, we don't need to go that way anymore. Let's go here. And I would like to ask control of some of this territory, honestly. Since we are the ones who broke through. In fact, let's see if Germany's willing to uh, ask. No, they're not, they're not going to give us shit. You bastards. Who did this for you? The mighty Ottomans. You're welcome, you dick. You're so very welcome. I hate you too. God, I hate you guys. You're just using us. I know your game. Let's take Orléans. Please. And good. We fixed up that bulge. Now, Belgium moved to Stanleyville. So. Uh, yeah. Let's get moving here. Come on. Get moving. And keep moving. Uh, yeah, they're trying to establish a better position here, and I am not going to have that. We need to be attacking all the time. Let's go. You too. Seven divisions. Oh, Jesus. Good googly. Here. We're cutting those guys off. Yeah, what are we doing? No. Don't. Don't. Just don't. Here. We're going to go there. And then we're going to head south to see if we can't cut off these seven British divisions. And we're going to call off that attack. Uh, where, where, where? Yeah, let's go that way. We desperately need to go that way. And can we scoop up this port while we're down here? I want to try to get the port at Mombasa. I'll send two divisions for that task. It should be an easy task. The British are spread so very thin. No, we're attacking there. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to call off this attack. And get you guys moving over here. So stop, please. Go here and there. And also, we're taking some of these ports here will get the British out of freaking range. As a matter of fact, we should be taking Somaliland. I wonder if we could do that. What's their naval supremacy like here? Not much. Not much at all. We might be able to actually do that. So, that, my friends, is going to be the plan. We, we will get one of these naval invasions off. So, let's just be patient about it. Now, they are trying to invade here again. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's scoop up this French, French home territory, this core territory of theirs. Africa, they can win or lose and not really care too much. But here is where it really hurts them the most. This is where their production is. And their core manpower. So we are taking that from them. Alright. That is looking much better than it was when we started, isn't it? My friends? So. 
that is where we are going to leave it today. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. It does help. I love you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you next time on the battlefield. Bye-bye.